MC Mikey MC Ray Ray Welcome back to an all new special edition of Grimes Finds. This is something that I have been talking about for over six months. We started small and this and kind of graduate up to this, to this, the big shebang. In this video, we're gonna take sterling silver that we found in an abandoned storage unit and we're gonna try to transform it into one of these fabulous Ninja Turtles. More specifically, we're gonna go for that little guy right there, the one with the blue, not the red, the original TV series. Guys, we are. I'm being bad. I got my mask on. We need two by fours and some kind of wood to make the base out of it, and then we need latches for the side to line it up. I'm gonna look at these. Basically, we need two pieces when we're making the mold. The mold I have is too small. Ah, okay. See, this is what I'm thinking. Something like this. We'll put it on one side of the box and the other, and then that way we can latch it because it has to stay lined up whenever we put the two together. So I was thinking we need some of these uh, to put the, the sides of the, the box together. I think I'm gonna get, yeah, i get these. Those should work. So one, two, three, four, we need two packs. Because we got two sides. All right, there's that. Screws perfect length. Okay, now we need some kind of latch put on the side. I was thinking something like this, but it might be too loose. But we could put one of these on one side, latch that down, and it should keep the box together. That's pretty tight. All right, y'all, I'm thinking something like this. This is exactly what I was thinking. Look, these, that way they latch tight. So we'll get one for, is there two in here? Or one? Looks like two. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and get two. We're gonna put one on each side of the board because this is gonna be permanent, guys. This is a permanent project because uh, I plan on casting a lot of silver. So let's do it right. All right, guys, we are here in this set. I want something like this thick. I'm gonna try to find some pre cut if I can. That's too small. All right, let's, let's check these out. This is actually gonna work. Huh? Plastic wood. I'm thinking this will work. You can cut it down there. Huh? So you can cut it down there. I can? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might get this. Cut this in half. We'll go ahead and cut this in half. That's just, that's really deep. I don't have a, put a lot of that sand in there. Because this is for a three inch action figure. That's too big. It's too tall. We need about half that thick. Or about height, half that height. Oh, maybe something like this. No. It needs to be thick. Oh, thicker than that? Yeah, this actually might be perfect. I think this might be perfect, actually. So I think we're going to go with this. The cover. I think it was these, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's about the thickness we need. It's about the height we need. It's like half an inch. Yeah, because then we're going to put two of them. It'll be stacked on top. So that's about how thick the box will totally be. That's perfect. Yeah. 
without further ado, let's go ahead, let's get chopping, let's get this sucker made. If you want to try this at home, here's a list of the items that I have to make the mold for the sand. Have a saw or your wife's bread knife. This thing is probably not going to survive this video. He's going to die. I got these latches and I'm going to put one on each side. I like these. These are nice and tight. I didn't like the first ones that I saw because there was going to be a little bit of wiggle room. And in this, everything's going to have to be tight, y'all. Keep it tight. You may wish to begin with 10 to 12 reps of each of the following exercises. Although Suzanne says she does 50 of this particular exercise every night before she goes to bed. Bet you do. Go. This is a good show. This is a clean show. Up next, what we're going to do is we are going to reinforce the corners of our box with these little L brackets. So I got two cases of those, one for the top, one for the bottom. We're going to need a handy dandy drill. Here's the wood that I chose. I went with, it looks like maybe an inch. So basically, we're going to be stacking these like this. Imagine how much sand you have to pack down in that son of a gun before it fills up. So we want to go a little bit smaller to reduce the cost of this whole project. And just in case you're curious, here is the uh, Teton Bond 130. This is the stuff that I use to make the Sterling Silver 10 ounce Mario. I actually really like this. I've got, oh, a baby powder. So I've got all that stuff, but we don't need to worry about this yet because we have nothing to put it in. Let's build our mold. Is this really happening? I thought this wasn't really happening. This is happening. This is really happening. All right, guys. So that just wasn't going to happen. So the bread knife still cut bread, I think. But I went and got a hyper tough 15 inch saw. 10 bucks. Felt like it was worth the investment. Much, much better.
All right, guys, we have all of our wood right here. So I kind of made a mock up right here. I like the, I really do. I like the spacing on this. I think I'm going to go on the outside right here. Okay, go like this. Okay, I really like the way that that fits in there. I mean, I like the border. I think it's really going to like, it's going to be strong enough is what I'm saying. So I've got my other one here to make the second one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little L brackets right here and I'm going to fasten these up. Hopefully this stuff's going to stack perfectly like this. And then we're going to take our latches and we're going to put them on both sides. That way, when we pack all of our dirt and stuff, it's going to stay like perfectly aligned when they would like sandwich it. Sandwich. All right, guys, we have our boxes done. I feel pretty good about them. Uh, I mean, I didn't use a level. I mean, I didn't do it all precise like, but they line up really good actually uh, for eyeballing them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna take, where's our latches? All right, guys, I'm gonna take these latches. I'm gonna apply these to the side that way once we get this, we're going to pack it full. We're going to staple a uh, cardboard right here to give it a floor. We're going to start compacting all of our uh, sand into there. And then what we're going to want to do is once we get that packed, we're going to want to stick that on top, but we always want it to align perfectly. That's why I got these latches. And we're going to take this, smack it on each side. Voila! In theory, it should work things work out better in my head let me know down in the comments if you can relate with that like sometimes like you got these great ideas and like they just they seem a lot better in your head than they do i'm gonna push this flat i'm gonna go ahead and pre-punch some holes okay all right guys sorry it's a little bit dark lost some light but okay so i finished it up look pretty sturdy for the most part so i got a latch on this side a latch on this side I feel that once I latch these, like it's gonna align right. So what I'm gonna do is, is since I've got two extra latches over there, I'm gonna go ahead and put a latch on this side, a latch on this side. That just way when it buckles down, I mean, it's just gonna be like completely tight and it's gonna realign exactly the way it did when we split it apart. Hung his dead infants on his neck. All right, guys, so our box is made. I feel pretty good about it. I feel good about it. So I added some cardboard on the bottom, just something that, um, I don't know, it's just a little trick I picked up just over time of doing this, and I'm still a, a novice at it. Um, so I do watch a lot of other YouTube channels, like Big, I think it's Big Stack D. I subscribe to his channel. He does a lot of pouring. So I've learned a lot of stuff over it. One of the things that I have learned, guys, um, is that you don't want your your uh, your model. You don't want your model 
to to move around you know you want once you're because you're gonna have to take it in and out of the bowls several times so what i want to do here is i got some gorilla glue this time the mario didn't move but i figured with moving parts i was like man just i think it'd be good so what i'm gonna do is, is i'm gonna take some super glue and i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this uh gorilla glue it's got a brush uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and put this around his joints once i get him down like okay now i know he's standing up because i am gonna make him a base i don't know if i'm gonna do it out of marble uh i don't know maybe something like brick something retro i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i do know that like i feel like i'm the first one to do this so this is pretty freaking awesome so all right so let's take the super glue let's go ahead i feel good with with how he is and i've got his swords Okay, so I want to make sure, um, I'm still thinking I might, let me know down in the comments. I'm thinking about taking his swords, not his belt. Okay, so his little belt is going to go back on him. Um, but I'm thinking about making silver swords. What do y'all think? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should make him some silver shanks. Or maybe I should cut this off. I could at least mold the blade and I can drill in there and put some super glue. But I don't know. Something like that. So anyway, all right. So we've hit Leo looks like he is in a position that we want him. He can stand up on his own. He's pretty level. Okay, when he's silver, he's going to be real heavy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start just applying it just around his his joints okay just because I, I really don't I don't want him to move when I take him out it's gonna affect my mold it's gonna affect the quality of it okay so I really want to make sure this I mean I'm not too worried about like this gunking up in the silver like affecting it because I mean it's leaking down pretty good actually so I'm gonna let that set for a second but what I'm saying is if the glue like leaves any bumps or anything, y'all seen how I did Mario. I'm going to take chisel to this. This guy is going to be perfect. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and also do his areas right here because I don't want his arms moving from that position. Okay. Let that soak down in that bad boy. I got to hurry, y'all. Gina's in here working on the auction, and I kicked her out because I said I got film. Hey guys, how's my beard look? I'm still in my PJs. This is the next day. All right, so what else do we want to glue? We definitely don't want his back leg moving for sure. Okay, where's the joint? Okay, so actually I'm going to leave this alone. Okay, I know his wrist move also, I think. Or do they? I don't know. This sh uh, actually, let's see. All right, I'm going to be real careful with him. Let's check his wrist before I go twisting on any. Yeah, okay. So look, his hands, no. Oh, actually, his hands don't move. Okay, so his legs, the only joint in his legs is like up in the little, almost up in his boo-boo. So we're going to go ahead and drop some down in his areas, in his secret area, turtle areas. Turtles ain't even got wieners, so I don't even know why he's good at work. You're good, Leo. Nobody wants to see your man hump. Uh, there we go, your turtle hump. Okay, I'm just making sure I smooth this out. I really don't want a gunky looking mess, but that should leak down in there. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. Try to connect the leg to the body. I'm going to go ahead and really get some in there. Okay. okay. I don't like how that gunked up, so I'm going to get some cardboard or some wood or something. Wood. Make sure I don't have no sawdust on there. Stick to the plastic. So I'm just trying to spread this around a little bit. I don't want any gunky areas. I mean, I can always uh, file it down once it's silver. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm going to go ahead and drop one down in this booty crack. Just so we can really make sure. I guess I could have just popped the legs off and put the... The joints back on real quick and and did that but that's a learning experience i might do that next time because these i know these do pop off so i could have put it all around the ball joints and then throw it back together all right guys so i'm gonna let leo dry real quick uh actually you know what we're gonna do his head does swivel let's go ahead and apply some to the back of the neck 
That's probably where I'm going to sign this one. After I'm done uh, making this figure, uh, I'm definitely uh, going to uh, sign this one. Gina said that I have to sell this one, y'all. I looked up Ninja Turtle. All right, so check it out. Y'all do down another thing in the comments. Y'all help me with the research. Um, I cannot find another full figure like Sterling Silver Ninja Turtle. Uh, let me know if you can find one. I feel like this is a first for YouTube. Uh, not just saying that. I really do. I feel like it's a first. And if so, like how amazing is this that we're making full, like, I guess, scale, full to the original scale of these action figures. We're making sterling silver models. Like, that's amazing, y'all. All right, so let's let Leo dry. Next step is we're going to start filling in this bottom part of the box. We're going to go ahead and fill that in. Are we focused? Y'all, uh, y'all like this double angle? Y'all, I got double cameras. Um, so, all right. What I'm going to do is, is I hope I have enough sand. I have a little leftover in the house. So, here's what you can expect. Now, we're going to start filling this in. He's going to be dry. We're going to set him in there. And we're just going to start packing this dirt in here. Alright guys, so I'm packing around the sides. I'm going to leave the, the center just a little bit loose. I, I mean, I did pack it in there, but what I'm going to do is, is I just had to order more sand because uh, I didn't take into consideration that this was my last mold and that's how much sand it took. So I do like this though. I'm okay with the box being so big because this feels so stout and I really feel once we get this level off, we know that our box connects really well. So we're going to have a solid pour. So I really want all that detail in there. I don't want any chance of the mold like breaking apart once I pull it in there. So I feel like this is the route to go. So anyway, we'll see. All right, guys, while we're waiting on our sand to get here, it won't be here till tomorrow. I'm going to go try to see if I can find it locally. Uh, but until that, what we could do is um all right so i ordered me a new one of these thingamajiggies because the other one was just like burnt out so this is brand spanking new put that bad boy down what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go ahead and prepare our silver y'all some of y'all is about to have heart attacks prepare yourselves because look how pretty this stuff is so the deal is is like i figure i did a poll um so what i'm doing is i'm taking these off I am gonna what I'm I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna crimp them and kind of roll them up. That way I can fit more in here because I want one pour. I mean I I cannot not have enough that's gonna run. These molds, what you don't know about these sand molds, they're only good for one time. So once I pour it, if I run out of silver, it's just it's gonna be, I gotta start all over. So anyway, so we're gonna start taking our silver, dropping it in there. This is all 925 sterling. I'm going to use this pattern first because I might sell some of it. I don't know. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and do the old bendaroo. Look at this. That looked neat. All right. So we're going to drop that in there. But, oh, that's pretty, ain't it? Y'all want to do one of them? Huh? We'll save those. Save the best for last. I like these spoons because they're pretty thin. All right. Dropping that in there. What we'll do is, is we're also going to weigh this silver out. I have an idea. The Mario, when I poured it, before I shaved him down and made him all pretty, was about 10, it was a little over 10 ounces, I believe. So, I think 
This is going to be between 15 and 20 ounce uh, uh, sculpture. I'm going to call it a sculpture. It's no longer an action figure. It's a Grimstein's original sculpture. Don't forget, if you want to hire me, you can hire me to make your own sculpture. But I don't do nudes, y'all. That's just weird. Especially if I know you. That would just be awkward. No nudes. All right. Uh... All right, guys, let me finish doing this. Let's get this done. I'll fill this bad boy up, and then we'll bring the scale up in this joint, and we'll weigh it. All right, y'all, so I got the scale. Scale is here. Let's plop this bad boy down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's do one more spoon. Let's do a nice little serving spoon. That's a good shoulder workout. Dang, getting big legs. All right, y'all ready? All right, can y'all see that on this camera? Units. All right, so we are on. What is this on? Pounds and ounces. All right, y'all. Let's see how how many we got up in this right now. Okay, so this is only that's eleven ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on here. Okay, that's 11.4, got 11.9, so I want to get this up to, actually I'm going to take that on, I don't like how that one is, because I might have to curl all these up so they all fit in this, this guy right here, uh, but I think what I want to do is, is I'm pretty sure I want to at least put 20 ounces in, I feel like that's the right number is 20 ounces. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think. Again, it's this action figure. Mario took 10 ounces in himself. Actually, do I still have Mario or did I send that to Emery too? Oh, you sent that to him. Okay. He so, got the action Yeah, so, okay, so Steve Emery's got that. So, all right, so now we're officially up to one pound of silver. So, let's go ahead and pop a couple more of these bad boys on here, y'all. I'm really going to have to crunch this down to get it all into here. Okay, so, okay, so that's 19 ounces. Let's go with a fork. There we go. So that's going to put us a little over 20 ounces. We got 20 ounces of silver right here. Let me get this all broke down, get it into this bad boy. Um, man, I hope that all fits in there. Actually, let's see. So there's, there's the silver hole. Cause y'all know we like box holes. We like uh, I don't know. That's all I can think of. That's all you get. All right. So remember, the bottoms was like ten ounces. And this is exactly how I weighed it last time. Are we focused? All right. Let's go. Oh man, that's a lot. I need some more room in there. Uh. Okay, so I just don't watch. We'll try to put some, now. I'm gonna roll these up, y'all. I feel like those should be. I don't know. Let's see how many we fit in there. Oh, I'm grabbing from the wrong stack. Oh, I don't think we have to break these, y'all. These are sliding down in there very nicely. Okay, so look, we're almost there. That's got to be at least, oh, that one's kind of curved, funky. Okay, and also what I'll do is, is I mean, I'm going to stack this bad boy up, and I mean, I, it can be hanging out a little bit, you know what I mean? That ain't a rule that you want to use in some other things in life, because that gets you put in jail, but you can leave a little silver hanging out, out your hole when you put it on the the stove y'all look at that that is 20 like 20 and a half ounces right there fit all in the crucible hole all right so guys look we got our silver ready silver is ready now we're just waiting on ups